Developing right now, more medical help is coming to hospitals across Texas that are struggling to handle the surge in COVID hospitalizations. And those medical staffers could be coming from out of state. It's one of several new measures announced this afternoon by Governor Greg Abbott as nearly 9,500 people across Texas are now hospitalized with the coronavirus. That number skyrocketing from this year's all-time low at the end of June when just more than 1,400 were hospitalized with COVID. And the governor did not back down from his promise of no new lockdowns and no mask mandates. Nothing like that was announced today. Right, Chris. Our Michael Laparty live with a look at what else the governor announced and the strain that hospitals here in the Houston area are facing tonight. Michael? Dominique and Chris, just last week we were standing out here and we could see people waiting just outside of the emergency center here at this hospital across the street from us. An administrator previously said that the state was not going to send in extra staffing this time around, but we've learned that that may soon change. Tonight, there are tents set up outside Houston's Lyndon B. Johnson Hospital as the area deals with yet another surge of COVID-19 cases. Currently, we do not have staffing to start operations in the tent, but it will be used once we have staffing to assist with taking care of the large number of COVID patients that are coming into that hospital. The hospital's ICU was full today with nearly two thirds of those patients diagnosed with COVID. As if that's not challenging enough, the other issue is staffing. They need more nurses. Our nursing leaders are contracting with different agencies to bring in nurses to help us. Help may be on the way from the state. Today, the governor said the Department of State Health Services would use staffing agencies to bring in medical personnel from outside of Texas. This is an, another unprecedented time for all of us. Angela Gray works with Pro Health Medical Staffing, which is based in Houston. She told us there's a huge demand for nurses. The needs that we're getting daily, uh, if not minute by minute even, or hour by hour from our clients are increasing uh, by the day. The governor also telling state agencies to open more therapeutic treatment centers to ease some of the burden on hospitals and asking hospitals to voluntarily postpone elective procedures that can wait. Bentog is uh, very full of patients. We're using all of our ICU and our regular patient beds. Harris Health has now temporarily closed two community clinics so those nurses can help at its hospitals. Harris Health told us these tents have been set up before. They could be used to screen for COVID. They could also be used as a waiting area. What they are used for and when they are put into use will depend on how many patients show up here. I'm told it's a wait and see approach right now. We're live in Northeast Houston tonight. Michael Laparty, KPRC, 2 News. Thank you.